I'm at CIA headquarters, joined by David Robarge, the CIA's chief historian. David, thanks for talking with us today. Happy to be here. We are standing underneath an incredible airplane. What is it? It's the A-12 Oxcart, the CIA's high-speed, high-flying reconnaissance aircraft. It is the highest flying, fastest operational piloted jet aircraft ever made. What was the mission of the A-12? To spy on the Soviet Union. That's a pretty simple mission statement. How did it do that? It overflew the Soviet Union at about 80,000 feet, or was intended to. It was never used for that purpose, though. We wound up using it in Southeast Asia and North Korea because by then the Vietnam War was heating up. We couldn't fly over the Soviet Union because a U-2 had been shot down a number of years before and we just weren't going to do that. What did a typical mission look like? A typical mission for an A-12 would take anywhere between four and five hours. You started out in Guam. You took off with a slight load of fuel. Then you got your fuel tanks topped off by a tanker. Then you flew your mission over the target area. If you were doing one loop, you got refueled again to get back home. If you were doing a second loop, you got refueled for just that loop. In Thailand, we had a base there where the tankers operated out of. Then they would fly back to Guam, jettison some of the fuel in case of an accident, and then land. Did it ever get shot at? Three times. In one case, a piece of shrapnel from a surface-to-air missile hit one of the engine nacelles otherwise just shot at and no damage. I don't see any guns on it. No, because no one ever expected it to be attacked by a jet aircraft. <laughs> it could fly so high and so fast that nothing could ever catch it. How fast would it go? It could go about 2,100 miles an hour, which is about the equivalent of half a mile a second. <laughs> wow. What's the difference between an A-12 and the SR-71? They're often confused because this was a secret aircraft and the SR-71 was publicly known. The main difference is this has one pilot because all he needed to do, all he needed to do was fly the aircraft and turn the cameras on and off. The SR-71 took other kinds of intelligence. It had other sensors on board, so you needed a special officer to sit behind the pilot to work those machines. It's also smaller and lighter than the SR-71 and flies a bit faster and a bit higher as well. Awesome, well thank you so much for showing us around. You're welcome. The SR-71 Blackbird is one of our most popular aircraft. If you wanna learn more about this airplane from the pilot who flew it, click here. Tell us what your favorite airplane is in the comment section below. And be sure to follow STEM in 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.